Greetings Star Wars fans coming to you today with another exciting video review. Hope your day is going well. It is wet and dreary here in South Carolina, but nevertheless, the Force is with us. Uh, we have for you today the Star Wars Episode One Electronic Naboo Starfighter. Now I know you're thinking, wait a minute, this is not 1999. Why are you reviewing that ship? Well, here's why. Uh, originally, I had no interest in this thing whatsoever. I just thought it was ugly. Uh, it didn't look like a starship to me, and I just thought, nah, I'll never buy that. But <clears throat> I have been searching for a Naboo Royal starship for my collection, and I would come across pictures of this thing. And I just kind of warmed up to the, to the idea of actually buying one, so I went ahead and uh, I picked this one up off of eBay, got a really awesome deal on it. Uh, the the seller listed it as used but when it arrived uh it was completely new in the package had never been assembled before decals hadn't been put on it really cool so um you know i'm, I'm really pleased with it and, and up close and personal i really like the way this thing looks i mean it is just really really awesome um you know and and for me episode one uh I didn't care for the whole, you know, Jar Jar Binks and, you know, his his folk and, and their little, you know, fake war against the uh, uh, Separatist droids. But, you know, the, the whole action scene within Feed inside the palace and then the, the uh, space battle, you know, above the planet, all of that was pretty cool. Uh, the fight with, you know, Darth Maul between Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan, uh, yeah, that was, that was neat. So, um... I was like, I, you know, just kind of wanted something from episode one because, honestly, I really love uh, Natalie Portman's portrayal of Padme Amidala. I mean, she did a superb job portraying that character. Um, I'm really saddened by the way that they chose to, to have her, you know, uh, pass away in Revenge of the Sith. And I just think she did a, a far superior job uh, as a protagonist than even Carrie Fisher did uh, portraying Princess Leia. So, um... Moving on, uh, you know, I, I picked this up, and uh, here we are. So uh, let's get right into the review. Now, to assemble this, there were only uh, basically three sections. There were the two engine nozzles, and then the tail stabilizer that had to had to be put on place. The canopy was already already on there. The R2 unit, of course, is just the dome is fixed in place. So uh, there were some decals that had to be applied and what have you. Um, Overall, this ship is 21 inches long uh, from the tip of the, the engine nozzle to the tip of the rear stabilizer. Uh, some sites listed as 10 inches in width is actually about 12. And it is 4.1 inches from the, uh, from the surface here to the top of the uh, dome of R2. And you can see that the, uh, the cockpit will open as such. And the cockpit is actually really detailed. I don't know if you can see all the uh, the markings inside here, the panels and everything, but these and, and here, these were already installed. You know, the, these are not decals that I had to put in place. That was already there. So that, that looks really cool. I really, really like the way the cockpit looks. And uh, it's a really, really neat looking ship, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks better in person than it does in a, in a picture, uh, in my opinion. And this ship, of course, is electronic, um, and it has two electronic sounds. And if you uh, if you look right behind R2, there are two buttons. This first button, if you press it, it has the flyby sound. And then the second button is the cannons, and you can see that they light up. But I really love the engine sound of this ship. I mean, that's just really cool. I mean, when you hear that, I mean, and you look at this ship, I mean, if you're holding it in your hand or whatever, I mean, it's just, it's believable. You know, I mean, it's like, yeah, that, that ship is really making that sound. That, that to me, you know, makes the product. It's, it's, it's that awesome. So, uh, and it has another gimmick. Um, if you look on the bottom here, there is a uh, projectile and there's a button. If you pull this back, it will fire. Of course it will if you have it loaded in the correct way, which is a problem with this. Um, there's only one way that this projectile will load in there. 
now it's set and it'll fire there so <clears throat> that's basically uh, all the features about the Naboo Starfire but again you know it's it's such an awesome looking ship you know and it's got some paint apps like here you know from uh, carbon scoring from the blasters firing and then you know all across the ship you just see you know the paint apps from you know where it's taking taking blaster hits or whatever and, and of course here you know uh, markings from where the the exhaust of the engine so that, that's really cool you know and um, the ship has no landing gear on the bottom of the nacelles here are these two pegs and then this molded in piece here and that's what the ship is resting on but um it, it's just a really really cool ship to look at and uh, I plan on ordering some more episode one figures as far as the Naboo pilot and soldiers and that kind of thing and um, you know it's to me it, it's worth worth the money I think I paid $28 for it so um you know they they can be hand for reasonable prices and even you know buying a pair of them I may buy another one you know later on down the road um, trying to expand my collection beyond the force awakens um, but there there's some things that just you know draw my attention more than more than others but uh, again I, I'm really well pleased that I got this uh, I'm really really pleased with the fact that it was brand new in the box um, and, and I think this is something that will will actually be uh, collectible uh, years down the road even more so than it is now um, and the Naboo Royal Starship is already you know a, a great collector's item and uh, I think this would complement it uh, very nicely so there you go the Naboo N1 electronic starfighter from Star Wars Episode 1 I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment on the video. Um, there's a link there to my uh, Facebook creative page, Orion's Belt Creations. Uh, I do a lot of science fiction writing. And I post pictures on there from others' artwork uh, that you will see uh, on my page that, that catches my attention from time to time. Uh, but feel free to comment or, or reach out and uh, communicate or send me a friend request, what have you. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll, I'll be glad to answer them as best I can. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoy the review. And until next time, may the Force be with you.